Okay, in this video I'm going to walk you through how to create playlists for your Uconnect system because it's kind of a mystery to a lot of people. So the first thing you're going to want to do, obviously, is check to see if you have any software updates for your Uconnect system, right? Make sure you're running on the latest software. So I'll put a link to this web page in the description and you can pop your VIN number in and see if there's any software updates for your vehicle. Then it gives you full instructions step by step on exactly how to install the update. I also have another video on my YouTube channel that walks you through how to update uh, your Uconnect system, including your maps if you want to do maps, right? Now, you need a USB stick and uh, you can do 16 gig, 32 gig. Uh, I am currently running a SanDisk 128 gig USB stick uh, in my vehicle and uh, you could probably even go larger than that if you wanted to. I'll put some links in the description to pick up uh, some recommended USB sticks on Amazon. So check that out. The USB stick has to be formatted FAT32. Okay, no other option will work, so don't even try. FAT32 is the only uh, format that's supported by the Uconnect platform. So how do we format our USB stick? So I have this USB stick here. It's called Library Files, my eDrive. Uh, you can right click on that and you can select format on your USB stick. Uh, you will change the file system to FAT32 and you can give it a label, a volume label. So any name you want, I recommend avoiding uh, special characters. Uh, although I, I think there's actually restrictions built into the app. So it has like file length, uh, character length limitations and maybe restricted character limitations in the volume label. Uh, but you could just call it Uconnect or you could call it music or whatever you want. Allocation unit size, leave it as the default. And uh, quick format should be fine for, for what we're doing here. Uh, unless, unless you have at any point ever had sensitive data on that USB stick, financial or identity related information, in which case uncheck quick format, run a full format. That's going to write zeros to every sector of that hard drive because, for instance, somebody breaks into your car and they steal your USB stick and they're technologically savvy, they can use uh, data recovery software, which is readily available, uh, and they can actually recover uh, files from that USB stick. If you have only done a quick format, if you haven't done a full format, they can recover uh, files from that stick. So just be cognizant of that. So that's formatting. Uh, once we have formatted the stick, then uh, what you can do is you can copy all of the folders that you have uh, all the music that you have in the different folders or whatever straight into the root of the USB stick. Once the folders are in the root, then we're going to use Notepad or Notepad++ to create our M3U8 playlist file. So you can right click within the root directory and you can select new and new text document and we can call that uh, i'll just call it new playlist right new playlist dot m3 u8 okay and the u8 stands for or the 8 stands for utf8 uh, which supports double byte characters in the file names so if the names or file names of your mp3 files have double byte characters uh, you want to have an 8 at the end of your playlist extension to support that within the uconnect operating system It'll read the file as a UTF-8 file, basically. Now, you might be wondering, how do I alter or modify the file extension? This is really important. Uh, by default, Windows does not show file extensions, and you cannot modify them. So you have to click on the View menu, and then Show, select File Name Extensions. That way, you can actually make sure you have the correct extension set. Otherwise, if you don't do that, your file is going to look like this. It's going to look, you'll type in .m3u8, but it's still going to end with .txt, in which case that's not going to work. That will not work when you put that USB stick into your car. That playlist will not show up as being available. Uh, now we have to populate the playlist, right? So how do we do that? So the very first line will be hashtag extm3u, just like that, okay? Uh, I put some notes in here, but basically those are notes, right? You can leave them or take them out. We take the notes out, right? And all we have literally in this document is just the folder path with the slashes like this and the name of the file. That's it. And you can put them in any order you want. And fundamentally, it could be as long as you want. You could have a thousand songs on your playlist if you wanted to. 
what's the quickest way to get the file paths to the music that we want to add to our playlist, right? If we go into, right, I'll just go into this, this rock folder here, right? So here we have a bunch of MP3 files. Uh, hit Control A on your keyboard. That will select everything that we have uh, in the folder. Then hold Shift on your keyboard. Right click on any highlighted file and select the option called Copy as Path. That will copy the file paths of every highlighted file. Then we can go over to our Notepad application and we can paste in uh, those file paths. So here's what they look like. Now we have to do some restructuring and we can use Find and Replace to do the restructuring. You know, if the root directory is uh, rock or the genre of music, right, that's, our, that's in the root directory, we want to take off D, you know, slash music, slash whatever. We want to remove that. So we're going to highlight that string, hit Control F to do a Find and Replace. Uh, we want to replace this with nothing. So we're going to hit Replace All. Now we have rock as our root folder, slash the name of the file. And we have to change this slash. We have to flip the slash. So that's a, uh, that's a backslash. We need it to be a forward slash. So we're going to change it. And we're going to put it in like this. We're just going to flip it and hit replace all. And then the double quote at the end of the file path. We also want to replace that. So we're going to put it in and replace it with nothing. Hit replace all. Now we have a perfectly structured file path to the music that we can uh, use directly in our playlist. What if you want to make a lot of playlists and you have a ton of music? That's where we can actually use Microsoft Excel. So Microsoft Excel has built into it, uh, it's known as Power Query, right? It's like a sub-application within Microsoft Excel. So you go to the Data tab in Excel and you select Get Data from File and from Folder. And we're going to select this uh, Music folder here, right? So just D Drive Music and I'm going to hit OK. And what this will do is it will recursively query against every folder that's in the music directory, every subfolder. Okay, so every subdirectory you have, it's going to go through all of them. It's going to traverse all of them. And it's going to get the file information from every single folder and every file. So this preview window comes up and we're just going to select Transform Data. That's going to open up the Power Query uh, Editor window here. So uh, I'm just going to kind of shrink this down a little bit, but uh, here's our Power Query Editor window. And we have a toolbar, a slightly different toolbar ribbon in here, but fundamentally we're only interested in MP3 files. So we can click on the extension column right here, pull the little filter drop down, and just select MP3 files. That's all we want. And then we only want the name and the folder path. So folder path and then the name. So we select these two columns by holding the control key on our keyboard and clicking on each column. Then we can right click on either of these highlighted columns, right click and select remove other columns. And that leaves us with just these two columns. And now we, we're going to do a little data transformation on this column. So we're going to go to the transform tab and we're going to select replace values. And I want to replace D colon slash music slash. Uh, I want to replace that with nothing. So I'm basically going to strip that off and replace it. Then I want to replace this uh, backslash with a forward slash. So I'm going to click replace values again, put the backslash in, replace it with a forward slash and hit OK. And now we have our folder path. So here's our folders. These are our folders, right? Amazon streams, 80s, right? Country music, etc. Here's our files over here. And I'm going to combine these two columns together. So if we select this column, the folder path column first, then the name column second, again, by holding control on your keyboard, we can select merge columns. Separator, no separator. We don't want any separator. And I could just call this, you know, uh, music file paths, right? Something like that. That's just the name of the column. And now what you can see is that we have, and I'll zoom in on this, we have the folder slash file name. It's perfectly formatted for our playlist file. Uh, we can go to the Home tab up at the top, and we can select Close and Load 
and that's going to load a, a nice table into our spreadsheet right here. Let's say that you have thousands and thousands of songs and you want to add you know, certain songs that are in all kinds of different directories and you kind of know the names of your songs or artists, right? You can just search. I can just, you know, I'll search for Drake, right? And all the songs by Drake. So you can say, yeah, I want these Drake Mulligan songs, right? Whatever. Put some X's over here, you know, clear the filter. Um, maybe I want like, um, like Tupac. Um, yeah, so here's some Tupac. So I want some Tupac, some old school, uh, clear the filter. Now you can just say, hey, like, show me just the songs. Filter on just the songs that I put little X's next to, right? So here's my little playlist. These are the songs I want to put on a playlist. Copy, just copy that. Go back over to your um, file and we can uh, just delete all this and pop it in. Now we're ready to go. As long as you have these folders in the root of your USB stick and you have this playlist file in the root of your USB stick, uh, you'll be fine. I have these playlists here in the root directory and I have my music folders in the root directory. That's fine. Can you have subdirectories? So if I go into hip hop, can you then have directories by artist or album? Yes, you can. That doesn't matter. As long as your file path right here represents that directory structure, uh, you'll be totally fine. Pop that USB stick in and start listening to your music. Now in the Uconnect system, in the interface, there's an option to click on playlists that will show all your playlists. And the playlists are sorted alphabetically, so either um, numerically or alphabetically. So if you want them to show up in a particular order, then you can just put like an A or a number in front of the playlist name and it will show up in that order. If you, so if you browse by folder and you go to the root directory of your USB stick, your playlist will be there and you can click on the playlist from there as well. So you have two different options to get to playlists. You can also shuffle playlists. So once you open a playlist in your Uconnect system, you can hit the shuffle button if you want to shuffle what's on the playlist, right? Check out links in the description to pick up some decent USB sticks uh, on, on Amazon. You know, have fun making playlists.